from Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Generator manufacturer Himoinsa has opened its sales and service facility in Midrand to more effectively serve its rental customers and to provide immediate power to clients, while customized power systems are manufactured for their specific applications. Skulk Burger has a story. Himoinsa Southern Africa has established its sales and service facility in Midrand, Gauteng, in addition to its bonded warehouse in Port Elizabeth, to meet the demand for its rental fleet. It provides generators for large projects, for temporary applications and a stand-in systems while bespoke engineer generators are built for the clients. Himoinsa Southern Africa Business Development Director Matt Bell gives more insight into the company's rental and permanent generation offerings in Southern Africa. We have always manufactured a, a range of, of, of design generators specifically for rental customers. So more robust equipment, easy to transport and very easy to, to connect for customers to connect to, but which we know is going to be an application for, for rental customers. Um, in 2017, though, Himmelwinsa Southern Africa, our subsidiary, we actually started renting to customers directly as Himmelwinsa. Um, and the real reason for that is I think there's a, uh, in Africa specifically, there's um, a quite often a need for power to come immediately while a, a piece of equipment might be designed and manufactured, tailor made. So we've started that, that rental business, it's been incredibly successful for us so far. We've got um, two big contracts with uh, uh, Sabania Gold uh, in South Africa. We're renting to a, a mine in Namibia as well. Uh, we've rented to retail outlets and, uh, and the Inanga solar project we're actually selling and renting to them. So it's a nice turnkey solution we can offer for customers doing rental and, and sale of equipment, all backed up by our own OEM technically trained team. On the rental side, obviously we need to design our rental fleet so it's as, as standard as possible to make sure it, it's easy for our team to, to maintain it and, and quick for us to install and move around. However, a permanent uh, uh, generator for a customer should be specific to that application. Um, so we will then spend time in, in Spain manufacturing a piece of equipment depending on what are the objectives of the customer. Is it capex, is it opex, uh, is there a medium voltage or high voltage? We can design equipment specifically designed for that customer's application. So the rental, but that may take three, four months, so the rental provides an immediate solution for power whilst that piece of equipment is being manufactured, uh, tailor-made to that customer's application. Our rental fleet uh, ranges from 200 kVA up to 1.2 MVA. So we're really focusing on the, on the large units, which again comes back to that bridging solution because th those larger equipment really needs to have a, a bespoke, uh, tailor-made manufacturing. Um, in terms of some of the equipment we've sold here, our, our largest unit, a uh, single unit to date is 2.2 MVA. But as I say, we have uh, power projects where we're, we're um, plug and play and linking uh, equipment together, synchronizing uh, uh, generators together. So Sabania, for example, is five, uh, one MVA units of so five MVA in total um, that's, being, that's being commissioned. Angola, you ask about, I mean, that's 35 MVA in total. Uh, so, and that's been running since 2012 with 100% availability. Um, it's a MTU technology that we're using in, in Himawinsa generators uh, and the Kasaki power station provides uh, power for a pump station that provides 60% of the natural water to Luanda. So a very critical application and we've been very proud to, to support and work with the, uh, the Angolan government with that project. Other news making headlines. Ringfence Eskom's bad bank generation assets, says energy experts. A leading electricity expert is warning that there is little or no prospect that Eskom can trade itself out of its current financial difficulties and that restructuring is now both urgent and practically implementable. Eskom is in trouble. It's facing very, very serious financial challenges. And as I'll show you in a moment, it's not going to be simply possible to trade its way out of where it is. Its problems relate in part to the structure uh, of, of, um, and, and its business model, and something is going to have to give. But of course, the second and broader one is that ESCOM's operating within a broader market context, and we're seeing unprecedented changes internationally in the electricity sector, which are beginning to be felt here. So the market context for ESCOM's operations are changing radically. And all of this converges to, I think, increasingly strong arguments that ESCOM is going to have to look for a new business model. It's going to have to become a utility of, of the future. That's Cleveland Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.